Let us quickly deliberate on the words of your mouth, the things that you speak, and the things that predominate your heart. As a child of God, you should know that we are not just discussing with those that bear the Christian name by word, but they do not show it in their daily living and their lives. We're talking about those that the work of our Lord Jesus Christ have been affecting in their life so far. They are words for everybody that is living on earth. There are words for every organization and kingdom that you find yourself. The kingdom that takes rule over you determines the things you do or say. We are trying to discuss the words of them that are in Christ. Your life is a result of the status of your heart. The Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. You do not speak what you have not conceived in your heart. Your mind is always generating ideas of words from the inspiration of the kingdom you belong to and the spirit that is in you. If the spirit of the world is in you, then your inspirations will always be the things that are of the world. The words of the world will fill your heart and you will speak them out always. But when you are fully involved in the kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ, and you are filled with the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, then you will get full inspiration from the Spirit that is at work in you continually. This is the basis with which we will anchor our words on every sphere of life. As a Christian, there are words you should not even speak out from your mind. Though the environment may not be ideal for you to follow after the noble and right things always, your word shows your depth in the words of the Lord and how effective it has been in your life. God is always desiring that everything that is produced in our heart and the things you speak with your mouth should be things that are of good report and glorifying God. Your spoken words must be filled with the testimony of the love of the Lord in your life always, and not always speaking things that will give the devil the chance to always operate in you and with you to do more damage to the heart of others. You have to know that your words are powerful. The thing you speak often is the result you have in your life. So you have to be careful of the things you speak and the things you generate from your heart which always finds expressions in your life. Things you don't have to say. Things you should stop saying as a Christian. Number one, stop saying negative words. Your words show the state of your mind. This is a simple truth, that the best and easiest way to know the state of a person's heart is to check the words that always proceed out of their mouth. When you always speak negative words, you have to be reassured that you will not see anything lesser than the effect of the negative things that you speak. Negative words are expressions that show that you have lost hope in the positivity of your mind. You have always trained your mind to always see negative. You always see wrong instead of seeing the right side of everything. And when you keep acknowledging these things, they begin to form the powerhouse of your dictions. Everything that has been received and processed by your mind is the things you always speak. You speak negative words like, no, I cannot get there. That business cannot succeed. You cannot make it. I don't have a good parent. My life is the worst. My life is finished and doomed. These are information that has been processed in your heart and you speak them with your mouth and the devil begins to use them against you. You cannot say your life is finished when you are still living. And when you always believe that about yourself, the devil comes into your life to take advantage of your confession and the beliefs will work in your life. You have to stop the negative words and begin to fill your heart with positive words. Even when things are tough and you are trying so hard to keep your stand, but all is failing, never say you are finished. Believe in the words of the Lord that says, you are coming out stronger than the time you fell. Make the words of the Lord your confession. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. 
When your life is threatened, you tell yourself, I shall not die, but live to testify of the goodness of the Lord. If you speak positive words and believe in them, then that is when you are getting the result. Stop the negative words because what you speak is what will happen to you. Number two, stop saying words of weakness. Whatever you say is what gives you the result you have. You should stop saying that the thing will weaken you. Though you are exhausted from the stress of the things you are going through, life has not been a bed of roses for you. You have tried all that you could to make your life sweet again. You have been rejected many times. You have not gotten the things you have been praying for. It is like you are the worst person on earth. You have believed God and the sickness is still tormenting your life. You have lost all that you have worked for. It is like your faith has failed you in a time like this. Despite all this, never say words that will weaken your spirit. You have to stop saying words that will make things worse in you. You have to be strong from your inside. When you are strong from your inside, you can say the words that will make you strong in trying times. Your heart must be strong. You must train your heart to generate words that will strengthen your spirit. The Bible says, be strong in the Lord and the words of his might. The words of grace that can build you and give you an inheritance among the sanctified. Let the weak say, I am strong. Your belief is what you speak. The things you have in you are the things that proceed from your heart. Number three, as a Christian, you have to stop saying corrupt words. There are words you have to stop saying as a redeemed child of God. There are lots of things that your lips should always speak of. You have to bless, you have to speak the words of life and the words of strength to the people and the situations you have found yourself. Your mouth is not for corrupt words. You have to stop saying words that do not benefit the glory of your Lord. Corrupt words coming forth from your mouth shows that your mind is filled with corrupt thoughts. Apostle Paul was speaking to the Christians in Ephesians 4.29. Let no corrupt words proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of the edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearer. You should stop speaking words that will demoralize the hearing of others. Your words affect the lives of those that hear you speak. When you relate with people, when you are in a conversation with others, you have to be careful of the words you speak. You should stop speaking abusive words and those words that are filled with hate and evil. The Spirit of God in you is always giving you the ability to speak of the life to give more life to those that are losing their life. Say words of hope to those that are losing their hope. You don't have to keep saying the whole system is bad. You have to try in all your words to continue saying the good news of the Lord. Stop saying words that will discourage the heart of others. Rather, continue to say words that will encourage others. We Christians must be mindful of what we say, think, and do. We are called to live a higher standard of morality. We are to live and aim for perfection, just like our Father in heaven is perfect. Matthew 5.48 With this, we must always check the words you speak to ensure to keep saying great words of good news and the testimony of Jesus. Number four, stop saying you will try, or I am trying. This is a word that you speak when you are not confident of the thing you are about to do. As a Christian, you have the power of the Holy Spirit leading you and helping you to do all things. The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. You cannot go into action without the confidence of what you are going to come out with. Instead of saying, I'm going to try, just say, I will do it well by God's grace. Saying this will transfer the strength that you will need to do it to get it right. 
Sometimes it is the fear that makes you say you will try. Most times it is because you are afraid to fail that makes you always say words without certainty in them. You have to always master the ability of the Holy Spirit in your life. God has given you everything you need through the Holy Spirit. You get direction so that you will not miss your way. You know the truth because the Spirit of God will teach you all truth. You see then, you have the assurance of a perfect result in everything you will be doing when you follow the will of God. So you don't have to say or think it may not work out well for you. Number five, you have to stop saying you love someone and you hate others. Every word we express is always information that comes from your heart. What you do and the attitude you put up. You don't have to keep saying you love some people and hate others, or you probably do not love some people. Our Lord Jesus Christ commanded us to love everyone around us, including those that love and hate you. You cannot love only those that you love and hate those that hate you. No, that is not it. You must not show this action obviously to people, but whenever you say things like this to the hearing of people, these words tend to form some belief system in them. As a Christian, you keep preaching the words of love. Tell everybody to love even their enemies more. If you must speak any words of hate, it should be words to detest sin and the devil. Philippians 4.8 Finally, brothers, whatever is true, what is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things.